Hey, what's up everybody? We are back today with the Trespasser DLC. We're out in the Shattered Library doing another Veilfire Brazier Puzzle Solution video. Now you're going to naturally get out to this area through following the uh, basics of the storyline. So if you haven't been here yet, don't sweat it. You'll make it here. But once you do get out here, you want to come up to about this spot. You're going to find one of those little red things that you use to build bridges out in the crossroads. It's going to build you a little tiny stepway in order to get you from here all the way over to here and then you're going to come down to this alluvian right here once you go through that alluvian it will dump you into this main area here where we're at right now the main library you will have come through that alluvian all the way in the back there that we're looking at right now but once you get in here what you want to do is head through this mirror and once you get through this mirror walk through the sea of unlit veilfire braziers and head all the way up to the top once you get to the top, you'll find another alluvian. You're going to go right through that alluvian. When you get to the other side, you are going to tell everybody to hold position. This isn't a necessity. This is just for the sake of time we're doing this. You want to switch to a character that has either an invulnerability skill or a mage that has their barriers built up so that you have the guardian spirit passive and the strength of spirit passive because you're going to need to walk not fade step, but walk through some of this purple fire in a little bit, and you want to make sure you get through it without dying. So that's why you want to use one or the other to get over here, but once you do that, head all the way to the top, and when you get over here, you're going to find a little uh, guy like you used to see in the Cradle of Sulvin. It says there's veil fire required in order to activate that thing. In order to get the veil fire, you need to press this button. It's going to send out a wisp spirit that's going to light these braziers up here as well as the ones that we walked through on our way in. If you aren't getting hold position to work properly, just run for it. You've got There's a time associated with it, but uh, you can usually make it. Otherwise, you just switch to a guy that's already standing down by the mirror like we just did and head back downstairs. So we're going all the way back down. The wisp should probably go over our head here in just a second, and you can see it floating around, lighting all of the braziers. Now we're going to come down here and grab a torch. And they're going to wait for the fire to go away. And now that it's gone, we're going to relight one of them. The reason we're relighting one of them is because now that we've relit it, it's not going to go away. And if you accidentally die in the purple fire while carrying your torch, you do lose your torch. And this makes it easier to just pop back down here, grab another torch, and come back up. The other thing you can do is have all of your other party members grab torches as well. So if you absolutely have to, you can just uh, switch to someone else and make them drop it and give it to your mage and try again. We're hoping we can get it on the first try this time without dying so we don't look stupid in the middle of a video. So we're going to head up here. My recommendation is if you're using a mage, get yourself as absolutely close to this fire as you can without stepping in it and then cast your shield. Wait till it gives you the option to pick up your torch and as soon as you get it, walk through. So you can see it almost killed me, but instead of killing me, my guardian spirit popped a barrier around me. We're going to go ahead and pop some potions, get our health back up, and then we're going to head upstairs around this corner, and we're going to light this bowl. It's going to give us access to this box here. In the box, we will find the Rhyme Sword. We'll take a look at that in a second, but now we're going to switch back to somebody down by the mirror and head back through the mirror because there's another place we want to take a look at because there is more loot to be had. So we're going to switch back to Vivian, make her drop it, and give it to our rogue. He's going to pick that up, and there's no particular reason I just normally control this character since it is the Inquisitor. We're going to drop back down here. You can see that Veilfire Brazier is still lit, so it didn't go out. No reason to mention that other than the fact that uh, it's good to know that uh, it doesn't go out when you relight it. So now that we're back in the main library area, we're heading across the way to the other alluvian mirror that's in here. I know there are three, but these are the only two that actually take you anywhere. All right, so from here, we're going to run around this direction. And you can go the other way if you want. Either one will take you all the way to the top, which is where we want to go, because there's another alluvian mirror up here that we want to go through. So we're going to head up here. Da, 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 da. Do a bit of jumping. Head into this main room. You recognize this from the Temple of Mythal, I'm sure. The safe zone. 
so you don't screw up your floor tile puzzles, right? And when you get into the lower archives, you're going to head all the way to the back here. And on the floor, right here, you're going to find a rune. This is not a new rune in the game. This is just developers being mean and making you think there is. Because as soon as you touch it, uh, you're going to get a demon to spawn behind you and a bunch of spiders. You can see their corpses here. Once you kill them off, go ahead and loot the demon. And on its body, you will find the superb amulet of barrier. Go ahead and grab that. And you've got yourself the two unique items from this Veilfire in here. Let's go into our inventory and just check out that Rhyme Sword really quick because I'm sure you're wondering about it. There it is. And we'll equip it on Cassandra. I'll show it to you. It's just like the sword that you get, the sword schematic that you get from finding all of the Harlequins. Except this one actually has uh, a little bit more DPS on it. It doesn't have the DPS of like a level 3 weapon. And uh, let's switch to Cassandra. Ba -ba -ba. Where are you, Cassandra? All right, there she is. You can see it doesn't have a blade. It just has that mist around it. It's just kind of like Cassandra's lightsaber. You can see it's kind of glowing there a little bit with the frosty essence because it's a frost blade. But that is it for what the Rhyme Sword looks like, and that's it for the Veilfire Puzzle Solution out in the Shattered Library. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.